Yeah, so I saw this recipe for Korean pancakes on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. So I thought I'd have a go at making them. So here's my journey of making Korean pancakes for um, everybody else who has this Monday in a life as myself. Yeah, so I had some uh, normal flour, some corn flour, a little bit of salt, um, some bicarb soda, and some water to make it into a, a smooth mixture. I've just put in like a an Asian coleslaw type mix with beetroot and carrot and um, cabbage and I put some corn in and I've also put some um, endamame beans in. So um, this is gonna be my first go to. I'll probably grate up some extra carrot. Um, which I've got there in a bag ready to go. And then we'll give it a little bit of a go. It's a nice a smooth batter, hopefully it goes well. Just julienne some carrots, a little bit of extra texture. Plus it'll be a little bit longer so it'll it make it look like a bit of a, a bird's nest or something, but anyway, we'll see how we go. Okay, well we've done all of the vegetables and they are in the pancake mix. I'm um, just going to be seasoning a cast iron pan and we will um, um, pan fry them up in a few moments. That's what the mixtures ended up looking like, which looks pretty pleasant. Lots of nice veggies in there. I duly end up some extra carrots and I actually had some frozen veggies, some cauliflower and broccoli. Might be a little bit of a faux pas, um, but I thought I'd make it um, a little bit lumpier and give it a little bit better texture. And it might look a little bit better. So um, we're sort of getting ready to give that a go. So uh, back with more information shortly. Yeah, so just using a little bit of uh, Australian extra virgin, virgin, extra virgin olive oil spray. Just waiting for the uh, frying pan to get quite hot here. I really want it to hit the pan sizzling, so um, we're pretty close. Yeah, I'm hoping to make about four big pancakes because I've got some barramundi I'm going to cook up tonight. So I thought if we had some uh, nice um, Korean uh, veg vegetable fritter pancakes to go with the barramundi and a little bit of uh, soy sauce, that would be a pretty pleasant meal. So hopefully it all goes well. You can see she's um, getting pretty hot there. So I think I'm ready for my first just give that a little bit of a mix through. I'll put salt in it as well. I, I actually haven't put any pepper in. I might just season it with a little bit of pepper. I love my pepper. really love um, the flavour of pepper in my meals. So let's get that right in there and mix it up. And just using just a handheld whisk. I have a machine, but I'm just whisking up some pancake mixes. Not that hard. what size these are going to end up being but yeah well that's what they look like in the pan 
just bubbling away there. Um, obviously the first one's going to be a little bit of a an experiment. We might get a little bit uh, overcooked on one side or undercooked on one side, but I can see the boo on the uh, pancake mix there. So uh, once I'm happy with that, I'll flip it and we'll take it from there. Alright, we're just going to flip it. Um, probably can use, probably could use a little bit more olive oil, so I'll use a little bit more olive oil for the next one. Alright, well the next one I'm going to make is, um, I'm going to do it a little bit hotter and use some canola oil. And um, see how we go with that one, because the first one's turned out okay. But probably doesn't have enough of a crispy outside on it. I was really hoping for so. Let's have a go for the second one. Well, that's a nice. As you can see there. You can hear as well, it's getting a nice little sizzle going there. So we'll see how that one goes. Sounding a little bit better though, as I said, I've never made these before. Alright, we'll give them a flip. Oh, it's looking a little bit better, it's got a much better colour to it. So I'm sort of Happy with that. I've got to be. That's all I've got, obviously. Yeah, so a lot better colouring on that one. So I've turned the temperature up a little bit and used a different um, oil. So I think that's going to be a, a much better recipe for me. Just going to let them drain a little bit on some absorbent paper um, after they've been cooked. See that sizzling away, looking a little bit nicer. See yeah, how that comes out. Yeah, well, I've pretty much finished, and um, it's the last one in the pan now. It would be the one I'll be taste testing. Looking pretty pleasant. Got a nice stack of them there, and they'll go for dinner tonight. So, we'll have a look at how that one tastes. I guess the massive travesty here is such that uh, I actually don't have any soy sauce out of all of those bottles there. Um, bottles of which I'm trying to break the world record for uh, expiry dates, uh, which goes back to some sangria I have in my fridge uh, open that's been open since 2011. I'll never let that one go. But yes, I actually have no soy sauce. So very upsetting. I have to get some this afternoon but uh, I'm going to give this uh, a bit of a go in a moment. So I've chopped it up, this piece. Nice and crunchy, quite nice. Wish I had some soy sauce to dip it into but That's, um, that's the way the cookie crumbles for uh, me today. So uh, signing out, um, we'll have this for dinner tonight.